Let's have a little more practice using molarity before we move on. This time we're given a 2.5 molar solution of nitric acid. A 52.4 milliliter sample of this solution is taken and we want to know what mass of solute is present in that sample. In this problem, we're looking for the mass of the solute. If we look at the molarity equation, molarity is defined by moles of solute over liters of solution. We're going to find the moles of solute. And if we do that, we can then convert the moles into grams. One thing we have to be careful of is, is that this equation wants in liters, and if you look at your volume, that's in milliliters. So before I start, I'm going to take my 52.4 milliliters and convert that to 0 0.0524 liters. The molarity equation is telling us that 2.50 molar is going to equal the moles of solute, that's what we're looking for, over the liters of solution, over 0 0.0524 liters. So my moles are going to equal 2.50 molar times 0 0.0524 liters which equals 0 0.131 moles of my solute. Now my solute here is nitric acid, HNO3. So to answer this question, to get the mass of the solute, I'm going to take my 0 0.131 moles of HNO3 and multiply it by the molar mass. Now the molar mass of nitric acid is 63 0.01 grams for every one mole. Moles cancel out here and I'm left with grams, which is good. And I end up getting 8.25 grams of HNO3.